Hey guys, Jarhead6, and I appreciate you guys watching. So, about a week or so ago, I got a pretty nasty comment. Uh, some guy called me, and you know, people like me and you call me sick, and you know, why do we gotta own uh, different rifles or firearms and, and this and that, and, and that we need more gun control. You guys know the typical things that you guys probably uh, hear every now and then, just like me. So, with that being said, I started to think about this, and I realized that a lot of guys do not own a firearm. A lot of guys don't have any weapons. So if something ever happened, this type of people will not have a way to protect themselves and protect the families. And, and you guys know people like that, you know, probably family members or friends that do not agree with, with having a, a way to protect themselves. So with that being said, guys, I, I decided to talk about some of the weapons. Weapons are opportunity. If something ever happened, where can you find a weapon for you to defend yourself. So with that being said, let's get started. All right guys, so what I did was that I went around my house and, and I picture myself uh, as, a mem as a person that do not own pistols and shotguns and things like that so if something ever happened what do I do to protect myself if I am inside my house and somebody kicks the front door what am I gonna do other than calling 911 to protect myself well the first place that I stopped was at my garage and I actually found two different uh, two different tools that will be pretty beneficial for me to uh, protect myself the first one that I found is a machete and this is just a, a, a regular machete that I uh, own and I utilize to, you know, work in the yard and things like that. So just a machete, nothing fancy. I think I paid like five or 10 bucks in Walmart. I don't even remember. But I gotta tell you guys, if something ever happened, you could probably protect yourself with this or you could attempt to protect yourself with this uh, in, into the police arise or until you get shot or something. No idea, but then again, this may be a choice. All right, guys, so to continue with the garage, here's another tool that I found that could probably be very beneficial in case of an attack. This thing is heavy, pretty, pretty heavy and, and difficult to maneuver because it's really heavy. But then again, guys, if something ever happened, you don't have a way to defend yourself, this may work. And this is just a basic wrench. All right, guys, I got to tell you, I went into my living room and I couldn't find pretty much nothing. But I did find this pair of scissors and... Maybe this could be a maybe this could be a tool to 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 defend yourself. I mean, I don't know how effective it's going to be, but again, you know, maybe you could fight with this. I don't know. Um, you know, obviously, it would be better to have a firearm. But we're talking about the guys that do not want to own a firearm, do not want to own any type of uh, any type of weapons. So this is the guys that don't have any knife. This is the guys that don't have a shotgun. This is guys that don't have uh, pistols. This video is is targeted to those guys. So maybe you could defend yourself with this. I don't know how effective it's gonna be. Most likely you're gonna get shot. Most likely you're gonna get killed. But I guess something is better than nothing. All right guys, finally, the kitchen. And, and the kitchen most likely is gonna be a place where you're gonna find some type of tool to defend yourself. And, and the kitchen is, is, is a very good place. If you ever find yourself in this type of situation and, and you have your firearm, you, you know, your Glock, like me, I got a Glock 17 upstairs and you buy the kitchen, it's not a bad idea to pick up a knife before you run upstairs to pick up your, your Glock if you are already in the kitchen. But then again guys, talking to the guys that do not want to own any firearms, the kitchen is probably going to be your first, uh, your best bet. Uh, I'm sure everybody has like a big knife that you use to slice uh, tomatoes or something. This knife, this knife is probably one of the best weapons that you could utilize. This, this, this knife will be uh, pretty effective to defend yourself. Alright guys, so I walked around my house. This is some of the items that I picked up. Uh, some of the items that I think will be beneficial for me to defend myself. Again, this video is for the guys that do not agree with uh, with guns. Ideally, you want to have a gun. You want to have a firearm. You want to have a shotgun. But if for whatever reason you think, uh, you think that uh, uh, you should not own a gun, you're going to have two choices if this ever happened. Choice A is going to be you're going to allow the bad guy to kill you. 
or choice B, you're going to defend yourself and you're going to have to pick up anything that you find to defend yourself. And it could be as simple as, as a wrench and the garage. And, and I got to tell you guys, this is not ideal. Most likely, you will get killed. Most likely, the criminal will take over, uh, rob your house, kill you, do whatever he's coming to do because this is not ideal. But then again, this is better than your hands most likely. So with that being said, guys, I challenge you to walk around your house, maybe identify some objects, uh, some, some things that you could utilize to defend yourself. As always, if you like videos like this, please click like, share my videos. I really appreciate that. And God is in control. Defending yourself with something as 